YouTube. What's up? Hey, man. <laughs> I really don't like doing that shit, but people like that shit. But anyway, what's going on, man? This is a response video to the Wright brother. Okay, this is um, it's not a, it's not really like t saying that he's wrong. It's not saying that I disagree. It's not saying any of that. I'm just giving my one and a half cent, you know, cause I'm a flat rate cat. So I'm gonna give my one and a half cent on the topic of, you know, do we like to be out in our trucks more than we like to be at home? Or do we like to escape the responsibility of being at home all day, every day, and handling, and handling, and handling day to day housely duties. My two cents is we have equal responsibility. Well, I don't know. I'm going to talk about my situation. Now, my wife is doing a hell of a job with my two children. You know, about two months ago it was just one, but now it's two children. You know, she's doing a hell of a job, man. And I commend her. I, I'm just so blessed to have and be lucky. You are right about that, TRB. We are blessed to have partners to say it's okay for you to go on, the, go on these trucks and be gone for this long period of time. That is right. We are blessed. So the way that I look at it is because in my situation, you know what I'm saying, my wife does not work. She does not work. So on the flip side of that, there is a lot of pressure on me to make sure that I'm doing my job correctly, safely, and most the most efficient way possible to make sure that everyone in my family is eating, okay? If I go out here and do something stupid and reckless and I lose my license or Stevens cancels our partnership and then put some, some crazy stuff on my DAC report or, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I can't get a job somewhere else. My people can't eat. So, is it escaping? I feel no, because at the same time, there is when, you know, my son acts, acts up sometimes and I'm on the phone or if he, you know, if he acts up and then she calls me and tells me what he did and I still discipline him over the phone. And it may not have the total um, effect that it would if I was home, but it has enough that he knows when his dad is, is upset, he's in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I support my wife in any decision she makes when it comes to raising the children. So that support at the same time, is, is again, is, I'm not at the house, but I'm supporting her. I, I'm I'm uh, piggybacking on what she says. You know, I'm still disciplining my son through the phone, but it has some some merit. It, it has some leeway or, or some uh, some weight, right, towards my to more towards my son. You know, and again, it's a necessary sacrifice to get to a point where you can actually be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, before I got into trucking, my idea of life was working until whenever I could retire and then enjoy life. So that means, okay, I'm gonna be home, sharing the responsibilities. Mind you, when I was home, and working the, the the corporate life or the regular nine to five, whatever the hell you, I, I didn't really work a nine to five because I was a uh, assistant manager at a, um, at a uh, mechanic shop, but I was home sharing the duties, but was I really sharing the duties? Because I was gone from eight to about nine o'clock, well no, 10 to about nine o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, 10 in the morning to about nine at night or eight in the morning to about six in the, in the afternoon. So was I really doing any of the duties? Because by the time I came home, I was tired, ate, you know, made, kissed the wife, kissed the son, and I'm ready to go to bed. 
So it's like, really, am I really doing what I thought I, you know, are you really? No. But what's the difference in what you was doing then and what I'm doing now? I'm making three to four times more than I was making while I was home. Hmm. So I already had an idea that I was going to be working until I was about 50 or 60 and then retire. But now I'm making three to four times more. So now we can accelerate the retirement time. Hmm. My children are young. I got a three year old and a month and a half old. Yeah. I'm gonna say how I wanna say it. A month and a half year old. Okay, that's how I feel like saying it right now. But anyway. And right now is the time of the mother. In my opinion, I may be wrong, that's okay. In my opinion, it is the time of the mother to nurture the babies, okay? Now, when my son gets older, as a young man, pardon me, I had to drink a little water, my mouth getting a little parched. But when he becomes a young man, that's when daddy is the number one, okay? Because when he get a little bit, oh, you know, I'm going to jab him in the chest a couple of times, thinking, you know, he's going to start smelling himself. You know, my son got the pretty hair and she light skin, you know, got the pretty eyes and all that bullsh crap. You know, he may be built like his daddy, so, you know, he may have the muscles. So my son going to be feeling himself by the time he turned about 12, 13 or something like that. That's when daddy steps in and put the smack down on his ass. Okay? That's my time to shine. That's when mommy, you sit back. You watch daddy put the smack down on Lil d Rodge. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm gonna be able to be home. It ain't gonna be no, ah, I'm at work. I can't get, blah, blah, blah. I gotta call off work. No, 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 Daddy gonna be home, B, because daddy made this necessary sacrifice for these five years to be home to put the smack down on that ass when you try to start smelling yourself. So in my opinion, it's, Everyone has a job, okay? And I hope the ladies that are watching just don't take this the wrong way. Please do not take this the wrong way. My wife's job is to nurture and raise the children right now as infants, toddlers, little babies, okay? My job is to support, provide, and protect. That is my job. And I, you know, again, my wife's job, that's, giving birth one is by far, I can never even fathom even thinking about that pain or even doing that. So I'm not saying that her job is less than mine, no, by no means. But at the same time, there's a lot of pressure on me. And, and I, that's how I do my, when I train, you know, the reason I, I, I train the way I do is like, hey, Brett, you're not messing my money up. You're not messing my truck up. You're not gonna mess my CDL up. You're not gonna mess my business up. So this is how we gonna run the truck. Because I got three miles to feed, period. I can't miss a beat. I am living paycheck to paycheck. By choice, cut it out, okay? Don't play me. But anyway, I'm living paycheck to paycheck in my mind, mentality wise, okay? Some of y'all need to do the same you know what I'm saying? But we ain't even gonna go there, whatever. Well, that's ain't what the video about. But, oh, and by the way, I'm sorry, this is, uh, can y'all see my hand? I'm driving with two hands. Sometimes I just put my hand up, okay? But uh, this is a dark video, it's nighttime, we in Cali, and we're going 55 miles an hour. The dumbest thing in the world. But anyway, got off subject, why do I do that? But anyway, but like I said, I was. what I'm saying is, I don't think, well, me personally, I'm not trying to escape because I would love to be home. If if I could do it all over again, when I came out of my mother's womb, the first penny I got, I would have put into uh, the stock market, some mutual funds, retirement. So by the time I'm 18, I can retire from nothing. And then I can be home, have babies with my wife, and be there. I don't, I'm not trying to escape nothing. Um, you know, is trucking a bittersweet? Yes. I hate leaving home, but I do enjoy being in the truck. And my wife understands that because when I worked at that damn mechanic shop, 
Every morning before I went to work, I complained. Every night I came home, I complained. And she knew how unhappy I was working at that job. But here it is now. You know, it's funny because when my wife, when she moved down to Virginia, when we got married, she took a job at this school paying less than what she could have made at another school, but she loved it. She came home every day. I. I, I couldn't believe it. She came home every day excited and happy about her job. I'm like, you working with kids though. You sh you really, the kids are wonderful. They're great. But I'm just like, wow. I've never really had a job where I actually enjoyed it other than coaching football, but that's not really a job. But now I've found that career in trucking where it doesn't hurt so bad to get back in this month. You know, when it, when you're coming off a of home time, you know, you get sad. I, I get sad as hell. My son gets all pouty. It's, it's, it hurts. But when my when my son turns 18, he will understand. And, and really, he don't. He's a he's a baby. He don't understand anything right now. So this is the the best time to do it. While they're young, he ain't gonna remember too much of this. Cause by the time you know, man, you can't get that time back. Yo, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Because by the time I get home, the time I spend with my son, we can get rid of all this stuff that I've been gone. Somebody will be there, Bob, but being home 24 seven, and he goes to baseball practice, track practice, football practice, hopefully not. You know, baseball, basketball, daddy's always here. All my games, all my practices, everything I'm doing, daddy's here, all the, man, that shit, that, all that shit goes away. All that shit goes away. So. I don't know if I even made any sense, just like TRV said, you know, he, he won't make it no sense, you know what I'm saying? He won't make it no sense, that's why I wanted to make the video. I ain't even gonna lie, I was like, man, he, he, he sounded real stupid right now. <laughs> I'm just playing TRV, don't, don't try me, B. Don't try me. But yeah, I just wanted to say, man, it's a necessary sacrifice. And like you said, TRB, if I don't, if I'm not successful in this, then it wasn't necessary. But by being successful, it was all worth it, man. So, great video, brother. I just wanted to make a response video and I'm gonna upload this tonight because I know I'll be taking forever because if I upload this when I wanna upload it, it's gonna be like a week later and everybody gonna forget about this subject. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this as soon as I'm done, okay? But anyway, this is King D-Raj and my boy Bray. If you ain't about that life, you better get out that truck.